Hey, just well, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool amusement right here and basically what this is, is an electric kettle. If you see the one that we got right here from this brand, and for the one that I got right here, it is a green color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which you prefer. But first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the product looks like. All right, so once you guys open up, there's a box inside the box. Let's take it out. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the package looks like inside. But let's open up this box as well to show you guys what's included inside. So once you guys first open up, inside they do provide a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And right underneath that, we do have something else. So it looks like this one is like the cable that's attached to the product. So let's take out the protection layer right here first. So once you guys take it out, there's two different things in here. So the first thing right here, we do have the cable that's attached onto the base. So all you need to do is to put the electric kettle on top right here. And we see in the bottom, they do have this option for you guys to keep the cable all organized. And they have this slot right here to keep the cable organized as well when you guys do put it out. So that way when you guys are using the product, it's not tilted or anything. So that is the bottom of the base. And then right here, here we do have the actual electric kettle. And we see the way how they design the product actually looks pretty cool. It has this kind of like retro design on here. On the bottom, we do have the brand logo. Right here on the side, we do have the handle for you to carry around really easily. On the side right here, we do have a button for you to push. And that will activate the product. And they do mention for the product right here, it does have an auto shut off option. So once it finishes boiling, it does turn off by itself. And supposedly for the product, it does have a boil dry protection. So when you guys don't have water on here, it shouldn't turn on. On this side right here, we do have a little slot for you guys to pour the water out. And then for the top part, if you guys open the lid, that is basically what the inside looks like. So if you guys look really carefully inside, they do have a max line. So when you guys do fill the water inside, you don't want to go above that line. And then for the other side right here, if you see inside right here, we do have a filter. So that way when you guys pour the water out, it's all going to be clean. And then for the filter right here, you do have the option to take it out and place it. Just like this. So once you guys take it out, that is basically what the filter looks like. And when you guys want to put it back in, just push it in and it's all set. And if you guys are curious about what is the capacity that's on here, it is 1.7 liters. But once you guys are done with the lid, you have to push it back in. Make sure it locks in, then it's all set. And I also do want to mention for this part here, the way how to design it. It's supposed to be a drip-free design, so that way it won't spill anything when you guys do use it. And then here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So I mentioned all you're gonna do is put it on top like this. And it is rotatable how you guys want to. And if you guys notice on here, it does show you guys on and off. So when you guys push it up, it's off. But once you guys push it down, that will turn it on. In terms of the material that's inside, it is fully stainless steel. So it should boil pretty fast when you guys do use it. And it's supposed to help you guys keep the water warm for a really long time since so it is stainless steel. But that is basically everything that's on Pada. Let me actually go put some water in here and plug it in the cable to show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here, we do have the product all set up. Now I'm gonna pour some water in and then we'll test it out to show you guys how it works. So if it's the first time using product, you probably want to pour it a few times to make sure it's clean before you guys actually use it. Especially so that way you can clean the filter as well. So you guys want to make sure you guys don't fill above the max line. So we'll just do that much for now. Put it back on top. Close the lid. And then all you need to do is just push the button on the side. And if you guys notice right here, it does light up. So that is how you guys know when it's on. So all we need to do now is wait for it to actually boil and then we're all set. So I'll come back and check on it once it's finished boiling. All right, so it's only been like a few minutes and it's starting to boil already, if it's in here. All right, so see how the switch pops up? So that is how you guys know when it's done. If you guys notice when I pour the water on here, there's a lot of steam that comes out. So that is also how you guys know when it's done. So now let me pour out the water to show you guys whether or not the drip-free design on here works or not. All right, so right here we do have the cup. So if you guys pour the water in here. And we see how the product definitely does work. So very easy and very simple for you to use it. And right here I am using an insulated cup. So if you guys are interested in this one, feel free to check it out. It is pretty cool. But that is basically a quick little test to show you guys that the product definitely does work. Welcome back guys. So nice little quick test spot and definitely actually does work and should work quite well. So you see when we pour the water on here, it does boil pretty fast. And there's just something about the way how they design the product. It does give you guys that kind of retro design on here that looks pretty cool and also looks very fancy. 
And if you guys notice when we do pour the water out, it is pretty easy for you to pour it out. It does have that drip free design on here like I mentioned. But that is basically everything that's on the pada. Now to unboxing and testing pada. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this pada, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality electric kettle where it has the same benefit and similar design as this one, like a retro design, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you should be doing. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.